Good evening, parents, and welcome to our open house for the 2021-22 school year. I'm Ms. Nellenbach, your new school principal. And I am Ms. Ambrose, the new assistant principal this year. I am so excited to welcome back our Tiger families and welcome our newest Tiger parents and students to our school community. It is so exciting to kick off this year as an A school. And we couldn't be more proud of the work our scholars and teachers who have helped us to achieve this goal. We are proud to say that this year we are already off to a great start and have, a had, have had a smooth and healthy opening. We appreciate your support as we have worked to keep our arrival and dismissal operations running smoothly and our students safe on campus each day. We'd like to start by thanking you for being here tonight and continuing to support your child and our school. With the expectation of maintaining the A grade this year, we have set out to achieve monumental goals in academics and attendance. We know that our dedicated staff, our hardworking students, and you, our supportive parents, we will meet and exceed our expectations. Before the teachers begin their classroom presentations, however, we just want to take a minute to share our goals for the year, as well as some important information on how you can become an even more involved power parent. You may be asking yourself, what is a Lakewood Power Parent? We have developed a parent support card. It's a program that's fun and easy for you to increase your involvement at the school and earn points for participating in school events that you most likely already attend. Your parent support card is the take home packet that you will receive tonight, or you can pick it up in the front office at any time during the year. The best news is that it's just for attending tonight's event, you have already earned five points in, in your goal for the end of the year. These points are milestones that earn you accomplishments such as power parent certificates, attending a special power parent breakfast, and most importantly, you can earn a power parent t-shirt that you can proudly wear around town identifying you as a Lakewood power parent. Another way we can stay connected and work together to share our goals is to make a compact a united agreement between families, students, and teachers to each do our part in ensuring that our child is successful this year. Please review the compact that is in the take-home packet with your child, sign it, um, the parent and the student have the student sign the student portion and send it back to school. Returning your compact earns another point towards becoming a power parent. If you're interested in joining PTA and SAC, Please be sure to fill out the digital survey questionnaire on our website or the tablet you're using tonight with your contact information and your interest in our parent organizations. Our first SAC meeting will be held in October. We're excited about partnering with our parents and the community of the school to support the school, increase our family involvement, and foster student success. We want to hear from you about tonight's event as well as interest that you have in future events. There will be a survey link on our school website or on the app that you have on the tablet you're using this evening for you to answer a few questions and it's important that you complete this because we really value your feedback. Additionally, this evening we are selling previous year spirit shirts on your way out for a steal of a deal. These shirts are $5 and remember quantities are limited, but we do have new order forms for our spirit shirts we'll be selling this year for $10 each. Students can wear these shirts to show their school pride on Fridays. If your size is not available, please fill out an order um, on the order form and include your payment so that we can get your orders filled quickly. Our campus has many materials available to, to assist you in supporting your child's learning this year. You can use these materials at home to extend your child's learning opportunities. Please stop by the school during the week or make a request with your child's teacher to visit our parent resource hallway to pick up and take home some wonderful standards aligned, free, absolutely free math, science, reading, and art materials for your children. As you know, we set out each year with beginning academic goals. This year, we're focusing on two key areas. The first is to increase our percentage of students on grade level in proficiency for reading and science and to maintain the growth made in math proficiency. We'll do this utilizing our core curriculum, our intervention programs, our paraprofessionals, and the extended school day. Doing all of these things, we know we can achieve these goals. Our second focus is to increase our percentage of learning gains in reading and in math. Students receive mentors, individualized tutoring, a specialized TZ curriculum module, increased intervention in math using our McCarthy 155 
program, a school-wide math fluency program, and our writing and vocabulary project. Again, all of these elements will help to ensure that we meet those expectations this year and maintain our grade as, a, as an A school. We're also excited to share with you that we're officially kicking off our first year of our Center for the Creative Arts, Health, and Wellness Magnet Program. There are many benefits of this initiative that Ms. Presley will be sharing with you. She's our Magnet Coordinator. Um, but I wanted to highlight first that all of our students will benefit from the additional electives that are involved in the Magnet Program. These electives include dance, drumming, and keyboarding, as well as clubs and special programs, including photography, gardening, cooking, and so much more. And finally, although we have strong academic goals and a mission to give each and every child a well-rounded, highly effective curriculum, we recognize that every family is experiencing a variety of challenges navigating the world of health and safety. Please know that our primary goal is the health and safety of your children and our school faculty and staff. We are highly recommending that everyone wears a mask while on campus, that our teachers and students remain mindful of quality hand washing and sanitizing practices, that everyone is respectful of social distancing and that although we are operating under these conditions, we are tiger strong and we will continue growing the success of every child in our school. Thank you for coming and enjoy your evening. Have a great night. Hey all, welcome back to the 2021 uh, uh, school leader here at Lakewood Elementary. We're going to introduce you quickly to the third grade team and how we are separated this year with the team teaching model and the homeroom teaching model with Miss Smith. So starting with myself, I'm Mr. Levins. This is my second year here at Lakewood. We're doing um, third grade again and this year I'm just teaching math. So I'm starting with my homeroom and then we rotate three times a day for our blocks. Ms. Nielsen is returning for her second year as well. We're both from New York, and she will be teaching ELA with reading and writing again this year. And new to the team is Ms. Nicolucci, and she will be teaching science for our scholars this year. With the homeroom teaching model, Ms. Smith will be keeping the same kids all day. She will be teaching all subjects to keep all the kids aligned with the same expectations and rules for the entire day. Our school-wide expectations are the same as always with being respectful, being on task, we're always safe, and we're responsible inside and outside of the classroom. Our student arrival time is 7.45 if your student would enjoy breakfast. We start allowing students inside the room at 8 o'clock, and we are rocking and rolling at 8.15 every morning, and third grade starts with specials. For our expectation this year for Miss Smith, I do not believe she is doing homework. For Ms. Nicolucci, Ms. Nielsen, and I, we are sending home weekly assignments to do that are given out on Monday. They are expected back on Friday. Your students can do the math handouts that we have. We have um, reading and writing worksheets for them to work on, as well as science reading assignments that they can focus on. If you want your student to have more assignments to learn at home, they can uh, do iReady on the computer, they can do Myon or their personalized uh, learning pathway, which is PLN online. You can download that app and it looks at exactly your uh, scholar scores and it will give you um, assignments based on how they perform. And we also want to encourage our students to read 20, 30 minutes a day at home. If you do not have chapter books or something for them to read at home, we're happy to provide them with that material. We are trying to use uh, One School, One Book as well, and that will get started this month where we're, every student in the school is given the same book, so everyone across all grade levels can be reading the same book, so everyone at school can discuss it. They have weekly drawings and competitions inside the cafeteria that they can participate in as well. Um, we kind of went over the rest. They also have a weekly agenda that we encourage them to bring every day so they can write down their assignments. We use Class Dojo for the most of our communications. Each kid earns points based on how they're doing throughout the day. They can earn points for being on task, participating, being a good teammate, and following those rules and expectations that we outlined before for Lakewood Elementary. Um, it's a great way to contact us, too. It's just like texting. 
Uh, tiger tokens are also given out. We used Class Dojo a little bit more in third grade than Tiger tokens, but uh, for entire school incentives, we will be using these, and the kids can cash them out for different prizes throughout the year. So these can be games, these can be candies. Um, sometimes we use them so they can go to events like the snow cones, or last year we had water day where they had a whole field day outside and play with the water. It was a lot of fun. We are strongly encouraging students bring water bottles. It is like 100 plus degrees outside, and when they come inside, they're sweating profusely, and the water fountains are shut off due to COVID. So they need some sort of water bottle to be able to hold so they can drink something throughout the day, because otherwise it's just at lunchtime. This is what we need the most from home. And masks are optional, but Pinellas County Schools and Lakewood are strongly encouraging students to wear their masks. But we cannot tell anyone, but they are strongly encouraged. If there's any questions you are happy, you can feel free to contact any of us teachers as we all have been looking forward to meeting you all and we are looking forward to Meets Teacher Day. Thank you. Welcome, new and returning Lakewood families. I'm Dr. Presley. I'm the Magnet Coordinator for our brand new Magnet program, the Center for the Creative Arts, Health, and Wellness. We're so excited to begin a new school year with you and your scholar. We're so proud of the achievements our scholars have made so far, and we're very eager to see what they will accomplish this school year. I wanted to provide you with some updates regarding our Magnet program. So in your packet, you'll find a letter describing those updates. Also, we have some really exciting opportunities for our scholars that will start second quarter. These will be after school clubs made available through our community partnerships. There's also a sheet in your packet that describes each of these clubs, and we would like to know what you're interested in so we can start planning for those. But most importantly, if you are a magnet parent, please take out the form in your packet called the Parent Student Commitment Form. This describes the expectations of our magnet program and your commitment to these expectations. Please take a look here and sign your name and then your scholar will need to read and commit to these expectations and sign and date. If you can get this completed and turned in by the end of your visit, just turn it in with your iPad and I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you have any questions at any time regarding our magnet program, feel free to reach out to me. I'm available here on campus in person by phone or through email. Here's to another great school year. Take care. Hi, I'm Mr. Dorsonville. Uh, I'm one of the PE teachers here. This is going to be my fifth year. I'm really excited to still be here and uh, Really happy that we were able to earn an A last year. And uh, thank you for sending your uh, scholars in and trusting them with us. Hi, I'm Mr. Weiniger. I agree with everything he said. Looking forward to a great school year. And if you need us, we'll be in the front car line in the morning. Call the office and our emails are at the end. Hi there, my name is Ms. Rivers. This is my first year teaching in elementary school but I have many years of experience teaching art of all ages. For art class this year, every student will be coming in one day a week for 50 minutes. If you are in pre-K, they do receive 30 minutes of art. Throughout the school year, students will learn about many aspects of art from drawing, painting, printmaking, making sculptures and ceramics, and learning the basic design principles. I look forward to meeting you all and hope you have a great day. Hello, this is Miss Navy, the dance teacher at Lakewood Elementary. Students this year in dance will develop kinesthetic awareness and coordination, stretching and strengthening techniques, as well as a connection to other content areas and cultures. Students will apply knowledge of basic principles of dance to 
through improvisation and structured practice of locomotor and non-locomotor actions. I have over 13 years of teaching experience with preschool through adult dance classes. I graduated with my BS degree in both dance and mathematics education from Radford University and with my master's degree in instructional processes and strategies from Marshall University. Thank you for taking the time to learn about our dance program at Lakewood Elementary. Hi, this is Dr. Torrance, also known as Dr. T, and I am the music teacher here at Lakewood Elementary. Our music class content includes basic music theory, singing, dancing, playing instruments, improvisation, composition, music analysis, and music history. We will be learning about music of other cultures, how music is experienced in those cultures, as well as, as singing and playing songs from those different cultures. Other genres we will study include Broadway, classical, jazz, and contemporary popular music. This year, along with fourth and fifth grade chorus, we will also offer a piano keyboard class and an all girls drumming ensemble. This is my 23rd year of teaching and my second year here at Lakewood Elementary. I have taught early childhood through older adult music classes, private voice and piano lessons, and conducted children's, university, and church choirs. I earned my bachelor's degree from Florida Southern College, my master's from Illinois State University, and my PhD from the University of South Florida. Go Florida Southern Mox! We're the resource teachers here at Lakewood Elementary. My name is Miss Mitten and I'm Miss Fisher. If your student has an IEP, we will be the teachers uh, working with your scholars. Sometimes we'll work inside the classroom with your student and sometimes we work in small groups outside of the classroom. If you have any questions or any concerns at all, please don't hesitate to call. Hello, it's so good to be here. My name is Melody Abels. I'm the speech language therapist for Lakewood Elementary. I'm here Mondays through Thursdays every week. And if you have any questions about your children's speech or language concerns, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you, bye. Hello, Liquid Elementary families. My name is Alana Thompson and I'm the school psychologist here. This is my third year at Lakewood and I'm really excited for another great year. Uh, my main role on campus is to consult with teachers, administrators, parents, other staff members, and students to ensure that all of your kids are getting the best educational experience possible. So with that said, I wear many different hats. Um, I run academic plans, behavior plans, involved with 504s, IEPs, the special education process, um, crisis prevention and intervention. I run different lunch groups, counseling groups, um, many different things here at Lakewood. So if you ever need to speak to me or are concerned about um, anything going on with your child, please feel free to call the front office and ask to speak to Ms. Thompson and I'd be more than happy to help as well as the rest of my student services team. Thank you everyone. Hello Lakewood families. I am so excited to be your new school social worker here five days a week at Lakewood. My name is Carrie Chen. Please reach out if you have any community resource needs or if you wanna ask student services about how we can support you and your scholar. Carrie Chen here five days a week. Hi Lakewood Tigers. This is Ms. Potts and I wanted to introduce our One Book, One School program that's coming out after Open House next week. Open House will be the 7th, 8th, and 9th. And then the week after that, we will start our first book, Cleo, Edison Oliver, The Playground Millionaire. 
and your teachers have got all the information on the books and if you're not familiar with or are new to um, Lakewood, um, One Book, One School is a national family literacy program designed to strengthen the literacy program within the school where we're all reading the same book at the same time and also the connection to your home where you might be reading at home as well. There'll be um, prizes for trivia that I will um, get with your teachers on and there'll be um, end of the book ice cream parties. So the first one is Cleo Edison Oliver in September and October. And then we will do dragons in a bag um, in November, December. I'm trying to remember the dates. And then after that, we will be doing wish tree and then at the end of the year, in May, we will be doing, March, April, and May, I think, we will be doing the Lemonade Wars. So again, um, you'll get your own copy of the book, starting with Cleo Edison Oliver, The Playground Millionaire, and you'll be getting that the week after um, Spring uh, Open House, which is the 7th, 8th, and 9th, so it'll be the 13th. Thank you.